What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about stocks. Bold socks with loud, crazy, fun patterns have become extremely popular over the past few years. Just because they're super popular, I don't think they're necessarily the right choice for everybody. So I'm gonna share my thoughts about you know, bold socks or fun socks, talk about when you should wear them, when not to wear them, and then you know how to match socks with the rest of your outfit. I see a lot of guys making mistakes with uh, which socks they're wearing. So I think this is kind of important and often overlooked. Before we get into it, big thanks to MeUndies for continuing to support The Modest Man by sponsoring this video. Uh, you guys know I'm a big fan of MeUndies boxer briefs, and now they're making socks from the same comfy fabrics. There are two things specifically that I like about MeUndies socks. Number one, while they do have uh, a handful of fun prints to choose from, you know, most of their socks just come in traditional, versatile colors like heather gray, black, white, uh, green, blue. And the second thing I really like is while a lot of companies choose to sell one size fits all, or as I like to call it, one size fits no one, MeUndies has three different sizes, uh, small, medium, and large. So no matter what uh, size your foot is, you can find a pair that fits you. Uh, for me, I like the smalls. I have a size seven foot. And so I just really appreciate when companies actually offer socks in different sizes. So if you need some new socks, check the link and the discount down in the description. And thanks to MeUndies uh, once again for supporting The Modest Man. Okay, first we need to make a crucial distinction between bold socks and novelty socks. While bold socks might grab attention, they might call attention to themselves, they're not obnoxious, they're not tacky. Novelty socks, on the other hand, you know, aren't meant to add style to your outfit, they're just meant to be funny. And even though they're sometimes worn ironically, uh, I don't think novelty socks really have a place in any man's wardrobe. Okay, so what are bold socks then? The distinction between bold socks and traditional socks is kind of subtle. It's more of a spectrum with traditional socks on one side and bold socks on the other and a lot of gray area in between. Traditional socks are usually solid colors uh, or uh, small, subtle patterns in traditional colors, you know, kind of subdued, not overly saturated. Bold socks, on the other hand, feature brighter colors and louder patterns. I know it's not a totally concrete definition, but you know bold when you see it. All right, let's talk about when not to wear bold socks. So when you wear uh, bold socks or, you know, crazy socks, fun socks, whatever you want to call them, you're saying, hey, everyone, look at my socks. You're calling attention to yourself, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but there are certain situations in which it's not appropriate. For example, funerals, job interviews, and formal business settings. These are serious settings, they're serious environments, and it's inappropriate to wear something that's fun or attention-getting. Of course, there are plenty of situations where bold socks are not only appropriate, but uh, welcome. You know, for example, weddings, uh, parties, going out, you know, to the club or the bar or concerts, you know, these are fun, festive settings where uh, bold socks are totally appropriate. Fun socks are also appropriate in a lot of casual and business casual workplaces these days. Uh, my last corporate gig was in a business casual office and I wore, you know, unique, uh, fun socks probably once a week. I used to have this pair of gray socks with like a pink floral print and and every time I wore them, I got a compliment. So I think most office settings these days, uh, it's kind of acceptable to wear fun socks, but just be careful, you know, maybe don't wear them every day because you don't want to be known as that guy. I think every office has one, you know what I'm talking about. My point is, I think they're best used in small doses. Okay, so of course we have to talk about how to match your socks because uh, it seems to be something that a lot of guys are confused about and rightfully so, you know, it's just another thing that you have to worry about matching to the rest of your outfit. So let's talk about how to match your socks. Now what you want to do is make sure that your right sock is the same as your left sock. Kidding, of course. So matching your socks uh, can be confusing. Uh, one good rule of thumb is whatever color your pants are, wear the same color socks, just a couple shades darker. It's a monochromatic look and it's always appropriate. It's always gonna look good. So for example, if you're wearing dark gray or charcoal trousers, black socks are gonna look good every time. Of course, you can add some visual interest and personality to your look by wearing complementary colors. So for example, navy chinos and red socks. You know, blue and red are complementary colors and so they're gonna look good together. Now, if you do wanna wear socks that are a little more fun, that have some patterns and some uh, brighter colors, then you can mix it up with different color schemes like analogous or complementary colors. Um, but it's good to try to coordinate your socks to the rest of your outfit by picking up other colors that are already in your outfit. So for example, if you were wearing a 
uh, gray suit, a uh, white shirt, and a black tie with black Oxfords. Uh, socks with a black and white checkered pattern will look good because they go well with the rest of your outfit. Just keep in mind that bold socks are like an accessory. It's easy to go overboard with accessories. I try to limit myself to two or three accessories per outfit. So for example, like a watch, a tie, and a pocket square. That would be three accessories. Or another example would be uh, a pocket square, a watch, and a pair of bold socks. That way your accessories aren't competing with each other and you're not gonna look like you're trying too hard or wearing a costume. You know, I see a lot of guys, especially guys who are kind of new to menswear and they're enthusiastic about it, but they go overboard with accessories. So they have some crazy socks, a bow tie, pocket square, lapel pin, watch, bracelet, and it's just like, it looks a little bit dandyish and a little bit costumey. Um, and so I, I think it's important to, you know, if you are gonna wear attention grabbing socks, you know, you can tone down the rest of your outfit a little bit just to avoid looking like you're trying too hard. So let's review. To summarize, bold socks can be a great way to add some personality, some life to your outfit, but there are certain situations like job interviews or funerals where they're just not appropriate. Regardless of what kind of socks you wear, it's always gonna look good if they're the same color as your pants, just a little darker. And if you do wear socks with patterns and multiple colors, just try to coordinate them with the rest of your outfit by complementing or picking up colors that occur in the rest of your outfit. And if you follow these guidelines, you'll never be confused about which pair of socks to wear uh, that will match the rest of your outfit. But I wanna hear from you. Do you wear traditional socks or bold socks? You know, where do you fall on this controversial menswear issue? Let me know down in the comments. And until next time, stay stylish.